Hey everybody, it's Ron from Pick Dogs, and this is Ron's Rundown. We're going to go over the MLB playoff game scheduled for Wednesday, October 12, 2022. Now, if you like what you see, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to put your baseball picks in the comment section below. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at the Premium Picks tab at PickDogs.com. Alrighty, here we go. Here are the games for Wednesday, October 12th in the NLDS. First up, we see Game 2 of the NLDS between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Atlanta Braves. This went a 435 Eastern start time on Fox. We're going to see the Phillies with a 1-0 series lead and the pitchers for this one, Zach Wheeler and Kyle Wright. Now, both starting pitchers had really good success against the opposition in the regular season. Kyle Wright faced the Phillies 19 innings of work with a 2.84 ERA and a very low opponent's batting average of 123. Now, on the other side, Zach Wheeler faced the uh, Braves 20 innings this season, a 2.7 ERA with 25 strikeouts. So really both guys pitching really well against the opposition. But when you look at both of these starting pitchers, I do think that Zach Wheeler is a little bit more trustworthy. He did have some action in the in the playoffs already against the Cardinals. He pitched really well in that wild card game. Six and a third innings, no earned runs, four strikeouts in that Phillies victory. And I do think he is the better starting pitcher when you go head to head with him and Kyle Wright. But in terms of who I think is going to win this game, I don't think starting pitching is actually going to dictate the winner of this one. I actually like the Braves to win this game in the end. If I was going to take the Phillies, if you like the Phillies, I would take them in the first five innings because I could certainly see them having a lead through the first five uh, with Zach Wheeler being on the mound. But when you look at these two teams' lineups and their bullpens, I think the Braves have the advantage, especially in the bullpen. And when you look at the Phillies, pitching six guys out of the bullpen on Tuesday in that 7-6 to six win. Now, sure, they've had plenty of days, a couple of days on Sunday and Monday to rest and have some guys be able to go back-to-back -back days out of the bullpen. But this is a Braves bullpen that is not only better, in my opinion, but a lot deeper than the, the Phillies bullpen. And I just don't want to see guys like Sir Anthony Dominguez and Jose Alvarado have to pitch on back-to-back -back days for the Phillies, especially in a non-must-win game. I mean, the Phillies would love to take the first two games of this series, but it's not a uh, it's not a game over if they if they do wind up losing on Wednesday afternoon. Um, you know, I do think the Braves' numbers against right-handed pitching offensively are also a little bit better in terms of team OPS and isolated power. The Braves right now number two in the league in isolated power against those right-handed uh, right-handed pitchers in the last month. Their team OPS is also ranked sixth in the league, while the Phillies they're just ranked at tenth. So I do think the Braves have the better lineup and the better bullpen, and even though I do think Wheeler is the better uh, option on the mound in terms of a starting pitcher, I do think it's a pretty close matchup in the starting pitching department, so I'm going to lean towards the Phillies in the first five innings, and then take the Atlanta Braves in the full game for this one. In our next game, in our final game of the night, we see Game 2 of the NLDS between the San Diego Padres and the Los Angeles Dodgers. This is when a 8.37 Eastern start time on Fox Sports 1. The Dodgers lead the series one game to nothing. It was a nice win for LA on Tuesday night. Now you see Hugh Darvish and Clayton Kershaw on the mound for this game. And Hugh Darvish has faced the Dodgers. He knows quite a bit about this, about this Dodgers team. He was a member of the Dodgers in recent years, and he's faced them quite a bit in the National League in the last few seasons, including this year, where he actually pitched really well against the Dodgers overall in his uh, 25 innings of work. He had 31 strikeouts with a 2.52 ERA and a 191 opponent's batting average. Not many starting pitchers have been able to go 20 plus innings against the Dodgers and have those good of numbers. So you got to look at you Darvish here and say, you know, this is a guy that has plenty of playoff experience. He pitched well already to start these playoffs and he had a lot of success against the Dodgers this season. And I do think Darvish will have a decent start here on the road, even though it's going to be in a tough road environment. When you look on the other side, Clayton Kershaw, you know, a guy who also has plenty of playoff experience, but the San Diego Padres, although they really weren't able to do too much against Julio Urias on Tuesday night, they still have been doing a lot against lefties, a lot more against lefties offensively than they have against righties, and that's why I think the Padres have a chance to stick around in this game, maybe even have a chance to win it outright. I think this is, on paper, their best chance to win a game in this series, even though they're not at home. When you look at the Padres' numbers, top 10 in team OPS and top 5 in isolated power against those left-handed uh, pitchers in the last month, their strikeout rate also one of the lowest in baseball, so although Clayton Kerr Kershaw's a veteran of the game, probably a Hall of Famer, and uh, has had plenty of playoff experience, and he's pitching at home here. I do think the Padres will be able to get to him for a few runs in this ballgame, and that should be enough for a run line cover in the end. I know Clark Kershaw pitched pretty well against San Diego in the regular season, but I like the Padres to get to him for a few runs in this game and make this a close competitive ball game. I like the Padres on the run line here, plus the one and a half runs to end the night. 
And that's it. Those are the MLB postseason games for Wednesday, October 12th. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to put your baseball picks in the comments section below. Again, if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. As always, this is Ron Romanelli. Good luck.